Hey everybody, it's the Patsy, and I'm here to do the uh, reading for those born under the sign of Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Okay, so don't forget to check your um, other placements, and maybe these messages will resonate for you as well as this one, or better than this reading. Okay, so today I'm the day I'm taping this is Easter Sunday, and uh, but keep in mind that these messages are timeless. Um, there could be something in the playlist of your sign that resonates with you at this time. So feel free to access any of these videos at any time and see if it pertains to something that's going on with you. There may be some advice um, within those recordings that may speak to your spirit. So we're going to be using cards from the astrological reading cards and the fortune reading cards. The fortune reading cards are new to me. All right. So this is by Sharina Starr. The information of the cards that I use will be in the description box below. So first going to get cards from the astrological reading cards and we're going to be getting a card about from that deck one is going to rep three cards one's going to represent your zo zodiac sign that is um, affecting you or is going to be playing a prominent role in your month or the energies that you will be embodying okay and the planet card which is going to also represent the energies that are going to be useful to you and that you're going to be calling upon and the house card is going to show us which of the houses of the of your um which of your houses is going to be most affected by the events that we are discussing this month, okay, in this reading, all right? So, let's get started. The first card that came for you from the um, astrological deck was Uranus. This talks about sudden change, an enlightening enlightenment or an awakening so this could be an epiphany this could be some aha moment okay but this is uranus and this is something that may just sneak up on you quickly and suddenly like a tower moment but more mm, spiritual in nature all right but there may be sudden changes around you that are going to lead to an awakening the uh Zodiac signs, so that's the planet. Zodiac signs that are going to be prominent in your situation this month. It could be energies that you're embodying because we have all of the signs of the zodiac somewhere in our charts, most of us. And if not someone around you that has the zodiac, this zodiac sign or these, because you got two cards in that position. Uh, may be embodying, you know, someone who's embodying these energies or someone who is actually in that zodiac sign may be prominent in um, the events that we are dealing with during this time period between now and the end of June. Capricorn. And this is about materialism, hard work, strategy, shrewdness, ambition. Okay, climbing that corporate ladder making your way up the mountain with all of your gifts and talents with you, okay? And Scorpio. This is an intense, thoughtful, masterful, and charming energy that's also very secretive and possessive. So this is about jealousy, maybe. Uh, could be jealousy in the workplace because of your ambition or it could be you being jealous and so that is triggering your ambition 
okay um this could be about materialism could be about trying to keep up with the joneses this could be about showing one face publicly and another privately because this is a protection this is a defense mechanism to keep things close to the what is it keep your cards close to your chest so these two energies capricorn and scorpio Scorpio is water, Capricorn is earth. So this could be something that is very important to you, very emotional to you. It may have to do with your stability and the way you earn. So maybe you are going after a promotion, okay? And you are doing things behind the scenes to ensure... That you attain that you obtain this promotion, maybe, or doing things behind the scenes to make sure that you succeed in whatever it is that you are trying to do. So you could be doing some shady things, some secretive things that you may not want everyone to know. You may have gotten some kind of a bright idea or epiphany about okay, I'm gonna say for some people going and uh, using magic, black magic, going to see someone, putting that kind of energy out there, juju or hexing, if you believe in that kind of stuff. Yeah. Yeah, this could be jealousy. Ambition, but over ambitious. This a lot of thinking and um, using your charms to manipulate. Oh, this is about okay. So there could be some manipulation going on around you. You could be doing some manipulation. Someone else could be doing something manipulative at your job. And you become aware of it. You become enlightened about that for some of you. And the house that is being affected by these events is your 10th house. So this talks about your achievements and your status in the outside world. So this could be you trying to get a promotion or you trying to, you know, um, get some achievement in your school or work, your status. And you have some competition for that. Someone is competing for that same position. Or someone is trying to block you from obtaining something, maybe getting a raise. But this is a uh, this is some kind of corporate or not corporate, but it's some kind of a, a, a tug of war. I, I'm feeling. So it could be between you, let's see. Okay, Virgo is an earth sign, right? So it could be you and a water sign, butting heads or pulling against one another, uh, trying to outdo one another, some type of a contest, some competition that's gonna affect the way that you are perceived it may be a challenge to your reputation because of jealousy or because someone is charming and it bothers someone else. They feel that maybe that's going to affect their chances for hmm, promotion. And so there's, like I said, it's some kind of a back and forth going on but maybe this is a something that came out of nowhere something that happened suddenly 
or something that you became aware of suddenly. Maybe you didn't know that you had competition and now you know. Mm. And this potentially could affect your reputation or your status in the business world or in school or amongst your community. But this is the way you perceived and what you have achieved so far. This may affect what you have, the status that you have created for yourself or the reputation that you have come to this time with could be affected by this energy, this intense energy, because we've got two serious and intense, intense energies that are very cautious and shrewd. And you're either working together, if this is you, or someone is working with you, or someone is working against you that has, so you may be embodying the Capricorn and someone else may be embodying that Scorpio. And you got two people who are very shrewd. So it's like somebody's playing chess. Someone's playing chess. Or it's like you're playing chess with someone else in some situation. Let me know if this resonates, but this is the messages that I'm getting. Competition, shrewdness, game playing, that's going to lead or can affect the way your reputation going further, your status. So from the fortune reading cards, in your recent past, you got Eagle. Eagle, you will soar towards your destiny with greater clarity and strength. So this falls with Uranus. So there has been awakening that is calling you to your destiny recently. And you have had a change, a change in the way you perceive a situation, the way you perceive yourself, all right? And you have heard the calling, all right? And that could be where you, while you're going up the mountain, okay? Maybe you are following this divine revelation, this epiphany that's, caused, that's pushing you towards a goal, an ascension, okay? But it calls for some shrewdness and some planning, some secretiveness, because there may be jealousy around the situation. Maybe people are going to try to undermine your awakening. Hmm. So you have to keep some things to yourself while you still work towards your destiny with the clarity that you've gotten suddenly. The clarity has also told you to be quiet with your movements and strategic with your ambitions. Whatever it is that you are headed for, you're keeping a lot of it to yourself because that was the mess, part of the message that you got during the enlightenment. So maybe the enlightening that you got recently is, to tell, is telling you not to trust people and to keep things close to your chest, to be secretive as you continue to advance towards the materialistic goals that you have. Using your charms to dodge certain people in certain situations. That's part of the 
master plan. Because during this awakening that you've had in the recent past, it gave you a perspective of the situation that told you that you needed to be quiet and secretive and make moves behind the scene in order to attain your goal. Something that you want to achieve. Something that's going to change your status. Could be a graduation, could be a promotion, could be your status in, you know, your social status. Could be single, going to be in a relationship, or single, going to be uh, married, or divorce, going to be someone who's married, going to be divorced, someone who is single, going to be married, or going to be in a relationship. Something that's going to affect your status. Maybe you're getting a degree and you're going about it quietly because there's some jealousy around you and you're going to school and maybe they don't know what you're going for, your people around you. Hmm. For somebody that might make sense. So recent past, enlightenment, clarity, going towards your destiny. The second position, you got two cards again. So, first card, in the present, you are doing some soul searching to bring peace to areas within your life. So, you're journaling, weighing things, unlocking secrets. Searching your soul that's going to bring peace to you. And the sun. Opening your heart to the enormous growth that is ahead. So, judgment is going to bring you growth and opportunities. So, using your judgment. Doing the inner work quietly is going to lead you to the growth that you're seeking. So looking inside of yourself and bringing peace to areas of your life that may have been, may have been in uh, conflict with one another. And by opening up your heart and seeing a bright future ahead of you, maybe that's going to cause you to be less possessive and less secretive, but more peaceful. And your future, because this is the present, so you're doing your work, you are using your judgment, soul searching opening your heart to the possibilities and in the final position celebration popping the champagne you are ready to bring new and exciting things into your life and this is going to affect your status in the world so this awakening has caused you to see your life from a different level and you're going to be open to the possibilities and you're going to be doing some soul searching some introspection and when all of this is done you're going to be celebrating yourself and the exciting new things that are going to be coming into your life and thereby this achievement these achievements the soul searching this heart opening is going to affect your status and your achievements and the way you're seen by the outside world. Mm, nice, 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 Virgo. Beautiful, beautiful. So, keeping your own counsel 
That's what I just heard. Keeping, keep your own counsel. So I guess it makes sense to keep things to yourself. But you're being told to express your love. Go ahead and make a romantic gesture. This is the love part of this reading. <laughs> Go ahead and make a romantic gesture. Express your love. I'm being told to express your appreciation. Okay, so this is falling on top of Uranus and the eagle. This is about you making sure to express your gratitude and your love to the divine, to source, for giving you this opportunity for bringing you this enlightenment. Mm. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. All right, so express your gratitude. Love yourself first. So put your desires, the things that you, the goals that you have made for yourself, okay? But self-respect. So don't do things that are going to bring bad, um, that's going to reflect badly on you and your status and your achievements. Be careful about that. Because self-love and self-respect don't necessarily mean that you have to be cutthroat. Right, because you don't want to create negative karma. Mm. So as you make your moves, as you go forth in this soul searching, new awakening, looking at things from a different perspective, show some self-respect without hurting others. Make the effort. <laughs> Great love is worth taking the steps that you're guided to take. So this new status, this new way of looking at life, this new way of looking at yourself or the way others look at you, it's going to be a change. Maybe you're not an expressive person. Maybe you're very quiet. You don't talk a lot. You don't share a lot. But you're being told to Make the effort to express your love to yourself first. And as you start loving yourself more, being less secretive and possessive, less jealous, perhaps for some of, some of you, once you start to make that effort, you're going to see the positive results that you get and more peace that you have inside. And change the way that you present to the world. Change the priorities that you have about your reputation and your achievements. So showing gratitude to source. Making the effort to love yourself in a healthy way and not in a conceited way way and not in a possessive not showing possessive love to the people around you make the effort to make these changes you don't have to make them overnight but you have you're being told to make the effort okay that's part of movement towards your destiny with clarity and strength when you're strong, you don't need to be jealous of anything or anyone. Why? You wish them well and you hope for their success and you hope that, you know, they don't wish you any bad. But why do you need to be jealous of anybody? Everybody gets what they're supposed to get when they're supposed to get it. It's the path that they signed for. Once you understand that and remember that, that's it's part of the contract. When to take care of your needs. This is from the angels and ancestors deck. All right. Take care of your needs. Focus on yourself. 
and the things that are important to you. Again, this is a wolf, so wolves, they move in packs, but they also can move alone. So, says winter. So, in the recent past. So, this awakening may have just happened for you in the winter, in the recent past. Okay. And so, you're being told to take care of yourself and express, make the effort to take care of yourself. Right? Look inside of yourself. Be gentle with yourself because you are still in the awakening stage. Take care of your needs and ask for help if you need it. Hmm. Next card here is drum. Dream and journey. So for some of you, this is about you knowing where you came from so that you can know where you're going. This talks about music. Maybe some of you have a dream that involves music. Okay. There may be music in your ancestral line a love for music or it could be talking about the ancestral drum beats tribal drum beats that's calling for your attention to your ancestors to follow to find to to, to maybe to to em, embody their their dream on your journey maybe when you do this uh, soul searching and uh, for some of you maybe you're going to find some connection to music or drumming tribal maybe native or indigenous connections for you while you're doing this soul searching and this research as you are getting this awakening. And maybe that information is going to bring you some clarity about why you are attracted to whatever it is, if, it, if it's music, and what this journey, that this is not just your journey, this is the journey of your ancestors for some of you. I don't know. That's just what I'm getting for somebody. I'm going to look and see what drum is. Okay. This journey inward, all right, this soul searching is going to uncover insights and information that are going to be important on your path going forward. Being told to follow that guidance. In shamic traditions in all four corners of the earth, the drum is recognized as the main tool used by medicine men and medicine women to direct their will and aid in meditation. A drum beat can become hypnotic and send those listening into an altered state that can allow them to journey to the spiritual realms and meet their own guides. When the drum card appears in a reading, you must know that there are opportunities for you to dream or to bring an inner vision into reality. So, following the drum, using drum, drum music, drumming in your meditations, is going to help you access information that's going to help you journey into deeper spiritual realms and make contact with your spirit guides. You are very connected to other worlds at this particular time. 
there's wisdom and intelligence in the earth and that magic surrounds you. The drum, which echoes the sounds of Mother Earth's heartbeat, has cleared out the cobwebs and dust from your inner vision. What you have seen in your dreams and inner vision is not imagination, just guidance. Particularly if it has been coming to you repeatedly and has the potential to become reality. So dreams do come true. Know it and live it. So pay attention to your dreams. If there's drumming, there's a message. They're all messages, but pay special attention to any messages that have to do with drumming or beats. Okay? Play music that has a drum beat that you can follow the rhythm of, that you could pick up. Maybe some old songs, some old music, something. But see, some of you, the music that you like already, maybe there is drum beats in there, and maybe that's why it appeals to you. You never paid attention to it. Pay attention to it. Allow yourself to get into the drums. Do your meditation with that music playing. If not, find some music somewhere that has drum beats. And see what comes out. And take notes. Okay? Write these things down. All right? Keep a journal, a diary. Whether they come to you in dreams or in the, you know, you actually go and listen to drums. I'm thinking this it's going to be significant. It's going to give you some guidance and some answers, and it's going to put you further in touch with who you are spiritually and reveal who your guides are. Look, I knew this was going to come out when they said Mother Earth. See, Mother Earth. Mm-hmm. Feeling loved and comforted. For some of you, this may have something to do with your maternal line, your maternal ancestry, that drumming, or females in your um, ancestral line, but <clears throat> they are making the effort to comfort you and to show you their love, all right? And they want to celebrate with you. They want to celebrate your achievements. Okay, for some of you, this message is from your mother or a mother figure around you. For some of you, this is saying that they have seen the efforts that you are making and they want to celebrate with you. And for some of you, that has a uh, special meaning. Look at this. She's got the moon in her third eye. Mm. So maybe for some of you, this you may have a cancer. Um, maybe your mother was a cancer. Or you're a cancer. Could be. But this is abundance. Okay, this is feeling loved and protected and comforted. But for some of you, this is a message from your mother. Check into the music. Follow that, those instructions about the drum. Because that's going to help you take care of your needs. Some of you who are involved in the music career may be you need to incorporate more drumming into your music. Have a way that works. And maybe that is going to help bring... Maybe that's just going to be the little extra touch that you need. Something maybe about the, the drum in your work, in your music. 
but nevertheless, see what happens. Can't hurt. It might help, right? Get some music that you like, that you're drawn to. See how you feel when you play that music. Take notes. Do your meditations with drumming music on. You could even find some native music, I'm sure, that's just drumming anywhere on YouTube or somewhere on the internet. See what happens. How you normally would meditate. Add that aspect to it and see what happens. And whether you normally use music or not, I'm being told, make this adjustment and see what happens. For those of you who this is resonating with. So let's get some guidance for you. All right. And we have energy work. Life can be electrifying because it is very, life can be electrifying because its very essence is energy. Your body is a remarkable energy field that will positively respond to loving treatments. Your hands and heart are activated to give healing energy to your loved ones and clients. Okay, so some of you are healers, right? Some of you, maybe you do drumming and that drumming is healing for your clients or for your family members or whoever is um, around you when you're doing that. Some of you are drummers in church or in religious drumming santeria ifa and you your drumming your talent works to the benefit of the community you help to bring the orisha you help to clear the energy and open the portal for mm. contact with the Orisha, with the ancestors. And so you're being applauded for that and you're being told that you are being, it, things, <sighs> your abilities are gonna be showcased and highlighted during this time period. You're gonna get expressions of love and gratitude from your clients about how the work that you did, the drumming, or for those of you who are physical healers, massages, you're gonna start getting more accolades from your clients about the work that you have done to heal them. So that may be for some of you. Oh. again, cleanse and def detoxify. So this is about those of you who are healing others or healing yourself through your energy work, through drumming, through being a mother, through making the effort of opening up your heart With great love and respect, we ask you to detoxify your precious and sensitive body. And at your request, we will help you to develop life-affirming ways to deal with stress, as well as ease any sorrow at shedding your old ways. Give your cares, worries, and concerns to us and feel the beautiful grace of a newly purified body. Also, for some of you, this could be talking about movement and dance, exercise. Maybe that's the drum beat. Maybe that's the drum. To be able to move and dance 
that's going to be freeing for you. That's maybe the energy work that you need to do for yourself. It's cleansing and detoxifying and using music and movement to an exercise, right, to clear any negativity that may be surrounding yourself and your energy work, that may be surrounding you and causing you to be jealous and possessive and secretive. So if you do your energy work, maybe you need to get a massage, give a massage, do some cleansing, detoxifying your home, your space, and your body, expressing your gratitude to source, expressing your love to your family, to your mother, gratitude, all right, doing some soul searching and some journaling to bring inner peace to yourselves, mm. relationship, your primary relationship is with yourself and God, ah, shay, exactly, and every other relationship follows from there to attract to attract, heal, or balance a relationship, smuggle, snuggle more closely to your creator. As you feel safe and loved within, so shall your other relationships bloom and prosper. And while I was reading that, I was told maybe there's some mother healing that needs to go on. And that's going to help you feel safe. And that's going to help you learn how to express your love and to love yourself first. So not when it said snuggle up to the creator, right then I got mother. So, of course, building on your relationship with the creator. But try to build on your relationship and heal your relationship with your mother or a significant female figure in your life. Get that relationship in order and all the other relationships around you will start to go to be, be in order also. That's what I'm hearing. So work on the relationship between you and the creator. Work on the relationship between you and your mother and your father. But the relationship between you and your mother is... Uh, for those of you that that is uh, relevant to, that's going to help you learn how to express your love. Even if it was a negative relationship, or even if you felt some kind of way, maybe you never expressed it to your mother. Maybe she doesn't know. And if she doesn't know, she doesn't have a chance to try to rectify it or explain it, apologize it or own it, right? And even if your mother has already transitioned, you can tell her and she will respond to you if you ask her to, by dreams, by synchronicities, by signs. So do that work right now, right now. At this present time, work on your relationship with your mother, work on your relationship with yourself. Detoxify, get some massages, touch others, and accept and receive the touch of others. So reach out and allow yourself to be touched as you touch others and get in touch with your mother. Make the effort because that is gonna definitely affect your status. The way you see yourself and the way others see you. See you the way others see you. If you make that effort, there will be a celebration here and in the heavens, I'm told. You're ready to bring exciting new things into your life. So let's heal these relationships with yourself, with your parents, with your loved ones. Take care of your needs. Take care of your need for passion and your need for healing. All right? So, those are your messages. I hope that they resonated with you. Please make sure to let me know.
All right, make comments below. It's very important to share your um, whether or not they resonate with you, not only for me as a reader, but for one another. Okay, maybe somebody can understand uh, uh, an aspect of their own journey when they read your comment. It could be healing for them. And there you are, co-creating some more. So, I'll be talking to everyone real soon, all right? And uh, be well. And don't forget to check the other um, playlists. Maybe something will resonate that will help you in your efforts this month. You go forward. And congratulations on your enlightenment. I'll be talking to you real soon. Ashe, namaste, and peace.